Hi, I'm Lois Alford and I'm going to show you how to re-wet mould your knife sheath. I've got Ben's knife here that he made for himself about 15 years ago or so. And over that time we've probably re-wet moulded it about four or five times. As you can see, it's time to do it again because that knife is just going to fall out and that makes it unsafe. So I'm going to run through how to do it. It only takes about five minutes. Um, I get asked a lot that shows how to do it. So um, here it is in principle. So I'm going to take the fire steel out and the knife and the first thing to do is make this safe while you're handling it. So I'm going to put a bit of tape over the blade just to make it safe. It's low tack tape so it doesn't leave a sticky mess on the blade when you take it off. And then I'm going to put some cling film over the whole knife um, or saran wrap if you're in America. So, pop the whole knife in there and wrap it up so that it doesn't get wet. And now we're ready to wet the sheath. So I'm going to submerge the whole sheath in a bucket of uh, hand hot water. This is one of our canvas um, buckets, which as you can see, holds water pretty well. And I'm going to submerge the whole thing. You don't need to do it for too long, I'm just putting it in for probably about 15 seconds or so or um, what I would say is, is just when the leather starts to give a little bit so I'll pull it out and just see if it's starting to give and it's taking up water I think that needs a little bit more so I'm going to plunge it back in it doesn't have to be hot water and it, you don't want to soak it till it goes really really floppy you want to just get it so it's just giving a little bit so I think that's, I think that's giving a little bit now it's full of water I'm going to tip that shake that back in so it's gone a bit floppy, but not totally floppy. Get the knife that you've wrapped up and push it into the sheath. So just push it to where it normally settles, but not right down to the end because you want a little bit of a gap there. You don't want the, the point of the knife already touching that welt at the bottom. So just about there, just so you've got enough to get hold of it to get it out of the sheath. Then you just sort of press the leather mainly around the handle, a little bit around the top here and down the blade. But don't be tempted to squeeze this really tightly because if you make those shoulders too steep, when you go to put that knife in the sheath, it will catch on those shoulders and pierce a hole here. You've probably seen that in some sheaths where people have pushed the knife, knife in and it's just come out. So just a little bit, make that transition really, really gradual going down the blade. Not too much, I'll just squeeze it back a bit. So you've squeezed the knife, you squeeze the sheath around the knife and just pull the knife out. So you're done with the knife now. As you've pulled it out, it's opened up the sheath a little bit more. So just squeeze that back a little bit, just a little bit, so it keeps it nice and tight. That's basically the moulding done. I'm going to take it down and put it on the back of the stove and leave it to dry overnight. And, um, and we'll show you what we do after that. Right, so I've brought the sheath down to the house to dry it. Now we've got a wood burner and a special little rack that Ben's made to dry sheaths on. But if you haven't got a wood burner, you could hang it above a radiator or in your airing cupboard, anywhere that's warm, steady heat. So um, I usually put it on here, just at the back of the stove and let it dry there for about a day or so. Or like I say, if you've got a airing cupboard, you could always hang it on a hook in there and let the warm air go all around it. So I will leave this here for about a day. It may take a little bit longer, but roughly about a day. So we'll come back when it's dry and I'll show you what the next, the next process is. So day two, I've got the sheath off the back of the stove and um, just gonna make sure it's nice and dry. Um, it feels dry. Um, it sounds dry because it's making a nice knocking noise. And then I usually sniff it just to see uh, there's a sort of smell of leather when it is properly dry. There's none of the sort of sort of dampness about it. So just give it a sniff and a knock and you say, yeah, that's definitely dry. If it wasn't thoroughly dry, I'll pop it back on and leave it over, uh, overnight again. Um, so you've got your dry sheath. Um, because it is now thoroughly dry, it sounds sort of counterintuitive, but we want to re-moisturise it. But you're re-moisturising it with a leather balm, which is just to nourish the leather so that it doesn't um, 
crack you know when you buy something that's made of very old leather you see cracks in it and that's just because nourishment hasn't been put back in so we're just going to put a little bit of nourishment back in with um, this is a leather balm um, called golden mink oil which I use but there's plenty of different types of leather balm out just something to nourish it what you don't want to use is something that has a lot of neats for oil in because that will make it um, super floppy again so that's great for belts and stuff like that but not for a knife sheath so make sure there's not so uh, much neats needs for oiling so you just get some of the balm a bit like polishing a pair of shoes you put it on quite liberally all over quite good to really push it into where the stitching is and stuff like that just make it a bit more uh, impermeable to water all around the back sides and then what I usually do is I just go a little bit into the top of the sheath there just a little bit you don't need to go deep down inside so you put it on and what I'd normally do uh, is leave it for about five or ten minutes for that to sort of penetrate but for the purposes of this I'm just going to do it straight away which is just buff it off again just like a pair of shoes it's had a chance to sink in and then you just wipe off any excess and buff it to a shine get a little bit in there that's pretty good and this natural uh, balm is quite good for your hands as well so you're nourishing your hands at the same time so your sheath's all done your knife's been unwrapped taking the cling film off and just in case it did get a little bit damp we'll just put a little bit of oil on the blade this is some camellia oil in this little applicator just to keep that from any corrosion and now we want to check that it it's done its job and it fits the sheath and it's not going to fall out again so here we go into the sheath it's in and now it's not going to come out so job done well, I hope that's answered all your questions to do with wet moulding sheaths. If you've got any other questions to do with leatherwork, feel free to drop us an email. And thanks for watching.